Hi, I'm Father David Boatner. Hola, soy el Padre Arthur. And Father Martin. You might wonder why we're standing in the backyard on a day that's absolutely freezing in May. We don't understand why it's so cold in May, except maybe we need some heat. <laughs> yes, yeah. indeed. Well, let's guess. What's coming up, son? The Feast of Pentecost. Excellent. And what happened at Pentecost? So the fire will come to us and we will flame with the Jesus fire. Exactly, Jesus fire. So listen, we're so excited because we're looking forward to the celebration of Pentecost on May 30th and 31st. And because we're freezing now, we know we need the warmth of the Holy Spirit to fill our lives. And one of the other things that's going to fill us during that time is the opportunity to gather together again and worship in public. We are so excited. And in preparation for that, we just want to go over a few things with you. So first, I hope you all have your masks. They come in various colors and sizes. So when we gather together in, uh, in May, which you probably can't hear through this mask, but when we gather together in May, we'll all want to wear our masks to mass. Uh, so just remember, when I go to mass, I need a mask. It's going to be very helpful because we're going to do this as a way of showing courtesy to each other to protect one another from the possible spread of the virus. We'll also have hand sanitizer and uh, many other uh, procedures that help us to gather safely together. Así que, hermanos y hermanas, viene la fiesta de Pentecostés, la fiesta del Espíritu Santo. Necesitamos ese calorcito del Espíritu del Señor en nosotros. Así que nos estamos preparando para el 31 de mayo, 31 de este mes, para volver a abrir nuestra iglesia y poder celebrar con ustedes la Santa Eucaristía. Pero entonces vamos a tener algunos procedimientos que debemos de seguir. El primero es, recuerden lo que les dije, no mask, no más. Así que sin máscara no podemos venir a la Santa Misa. Segundo, vamos a tener también eh, este líquido que utilizamos para purificar nuestras manos, para sanitanizarlas y poder también así acceder nosotros a estar juntos en la comunidad para poder celebrar este gran acontecimiento, el renacimiento de nuestra iglesia en la fiesta de Pentecostés. Exactly. So the Feast of Pentecost is always a reminder of the birth of the church. That's what happened on the Feast of Pentecost. And so we're going to have the rebirth of the church in person. Now we realize not everyone is going to feel comfortable socializing and gathering together. And that's okay because remember, Bishop Sticka has granted a dispensation from the Sunday obligation and will continue to live stream all of our masses on the weekends and on the weekdays. So please, if you are not feeling well, if you are in one of those uh, vulnerable classes of people that might be susceptible more to the virus, or if you're just not comfortable gathering in public spaces yet, please worship from home through the live stream. If you are able and comfortable to come to Mass, we look forward to greeting you, and we're also going to ask you to try and give us an indication of whether or not you're going to come that weekend. And so we put together a sign up genius so that you can let us know if you're able to come that weekend and that way we can be prepared for you to be there. Uh, we really hope everybody is doing well and we can't wait to see those that are able to gather and we look forward to celebrating together the Feast of Pentecost. One thing more, do you remember what's happened in Pentecost when the Holy Spirit came down to the, the apostles? They opened the door from the upper room and go to proclaim good news. In coming Pentecost, we open doors from the church and you can go inside. The perfect day to open the doors of the church again. Yeah, absolutely. And so we look forward to seeing you soon. We hope God is uh, leading and guiding you in these days leading up to the Pentecost to be prepared to receive that beautiful gift of the Holy Spirit. And so put your masks on, clean your hands, and get ready to come to Mass.